Howdy hey! Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest Gold Rusters. I'm Jeff, amateur prospector, and this is Gold Rush 22. Well, it's uh, mid-July. It was sunny all week, but rained this morning. But it's all supposed to burn off. I got soaking wet just walking through that stuff. But that, I'm 6'5", and then that big old, I brought the keen, and that big old backpack was catching every branch and raining down on me. But, uh, we made it here. Uh, you can see where Ken was going uh, last week. So I'm actually going to go just kind of up a little higher than his. But uh, should be a should be a good day. The water's just beautiful today. There were a couple diving ducks here. Open like uh, last week, I forgot to mention, there was a king salmon that jumped. That was, I, I, I kid you not, three feet, three and a half feet long, almost a foot girth. It was just huge. 20 feet in front of me, and it happened the minute, almost within the second, I turned you off the camera. So I turned it back on real quick, and it takes a couple seconds to power up, and the sucker did it again. And I was like, oh, so I stood there for like 20 minutes and then never did it again. So that was kind of disappointing. That would have been cool. But we're going to get this keen set up. Brought a couple buckets. Remember to bring hydration this time. I even brought a couple Blue Mountains. I uh, haven't quite decided if I'm going to set up at my old dam that I had last week or the faster water where Ken was. Actually, they both look good, so we'll see. I don't know. I mean, am I going to dig here or up there? I haven't decided. Lots of time. Got the whole day. Brought a snack. I even brought a couple blue mountains. It's too far of a walk to bring a chair, but I'm sure I can find a nice soft rock around here to sit on. But let's get finding them nugs. Oh, I also wanted to say I gained a couple subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I think we're up to... 77, which is kind of startling to me because I really never even expected more than a, a few local friends, but I appreciate you guys and actually, believe it or not, I watch so many videos of you guys and uh, I, I think they're all really cool and there's always something to learn from each different person, different person, and so that's what I use you for. Hopefully I can do a couple things during these videos that maybe can give you some ideas too. So I'm a noob, but I have learned a couple things. Most of all, don't forget water. Oh, there goes a kingfisher. God, I love the Pacific Northwest. Let's get to it. Gold Rush 22. to set up my old spot looks like Keen's running really good might need to do a little tweaking haven't ran a, a test scoop down it yet kind of looks like it's got to be tilted a little bit this way got my refrigerator going go find that nub gold rush 22 Come on, where are you at? They must be eating the bugs as they're trying to make it up river to spawn. That was huge. Come on. First jump was over there. There, there. They're jumping like a foot out of the water, too. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Let's see. Where's a good place to set this up? I don't risk dropping it in the water. 
Okay. Okay. Got my first bucket classified. Uh, new spot, so we're gonna do a one bucket test. But see how clay, the, the clay water and everything, it was really getting mucky. So I wanna do a test on that because usually that's a good sign for me. Uh, I'll have to check the tape to see if uh, the tape, God, I'm old. But anyway, see if a fish ever did jump. Probably not. I'm not that lucky. Anyway, so I was going to do two buckets. Look at all that clay water. But when there's the old, and we're thinking the line runs right here. So you can see, I'm down a little bit, but it's actually really good looking material. So I had to move a lot of rock just to get down to where I could dig. But I'm just throwing them in the old hole for now and my tailings and some smaller rocks here. But let me get a drink of water, run that test bucket, make sure the keen's running good. And uh, yeah, let's see if there's any nugs. Gold Rush 22. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Did you get it? That was a smaller one. We might have got that one. That'd be sweet. Still want that big king to jump in there. That was huge. That was literally like right there. Still, maybe. Anyway, so as I suspected, uh, it was leaning too far over there. So I got her now. In fact, uh, you can see I got a, hopefully, there's at least one speck of gold in there. And if that is gold, that's a nug. So, but you can see the clay-like material here. But the feed rate, I feel, is just right. Yeah, that's definitely gold because it ain't moving. But this actually will enable me to, like I did at uh, Kibble Bits Pit, Because of these heavier gravels here, and it's really muggy, there's like no breeze. Luckily, I got my new Jesus sandals. It keeps me a little cool. But after that rain this morning, I can feel the sun coming out. It's going to be a steam bath down here. But uh, it's going to be worth it. Anyway, so these gravels, uh, I think I have time rather than classifying two buckets at a time, just do one at a time and let this thing kind of clean itself out. Uh, it's easy to clean, but I got it set up so good. Yeah, there's the heat right there. Wow. I'll be dunking some pans in my head today. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely gold. And there's another one over there. And a smaller speck below it, so we're looking good. God, it is beautiful. That makes it bright. Well, welcome back. Just a little bit of an update. As you can see, I got my second bucket done, and we're down to another. You can see that we're getting down to the water table. But there's a uh, pretty big rock right there. Still good material. So we're moving some rock. I already ran the second bucket. I'm going to be doing a clean out because I want to see one if that. Gold is still on or or not. 
but you know, I got a flake there, a flake there, a flake there. Now, I didn't bring my snuffer bottle, uh, but I did bring a container for all my concentrates. It'll give me something to do tomorrow. But uh, also, as you can see, I'm sweating my booty off, which is a good thing. Uh, actually, yesterday was a one month anniversary of my physical, and uh, I also just turned 57 in May, and uh, my physical didn't go so good. Basically, my blood pressure was through the roof. Uh, probably pretty close to an aneurysm. Plus, uh, I'm way overweight. So, the good news is, as of yesterday, uh, I've been kind of on a diet. Uh, kind of. I've been on a diet, also trying to eat healthier. The good news is, I've lost over 20 pounds in that month. And I got my blood pressure under control. So she's back down to normal. So I am feeling a lot better. Uh, I was actually getting kind of dizzy there with the blood pressure was so high I was kind of having problems even walking. But uh, so you guys got to take care of yourselves too. I set myself a goal though. I got to tell you I'm craving a pizza. And I told myself once I get under a certain goal that I set for myself, I'm getting a darn pizza. But. Uh, Still got to get get out there and enjoy it, and it's still uh, occasionally I'll get a breeze here. It's so muggy, but I'll be dumping a pan over my head here pretty quick. But the belly's going, and let's clean that out. Old Rush 22. Okay, I got her down to mostly black sand, and. Uh, Instead of the sea there, I already got gold cascading down, so I'm going to stop here as far as basically I'm going to take the rest home, but I still want to get down to the bottom because that was just on the surface there. And a lot of black sand, really heavy. There's some gold showing up there at the top so I'm actually going to do a better job here because although there's gold in there I was kind of hoping for a little bit more so let me pull this back a little more gently and see what we got right, hey welcome back Okay, yeah, I had to really take my time with that. Um, good and bad. Okay, there's about, remember I ran basically, well my buckets are oh, about two-thirds full probably. Um, so I ran two of those. I will admit, I ran the upper layer and then down to the bottom layer. Because I like to do that at first, so that's why I actually did a clean out. I want to see... Is it even worth running that upper material? But I did pan it back. The good news is um, to the flakes, even though they're small, they're chunky. Um, I could actually feel them with my finger, which is something that, you know, normally the flakes I get on, on the other river are so fine that, you know, you can take a number two pencil and make a dot. So, but I got two nice sized flakes, so size is important. Um, and then one a little bit smaller, but I do have about, oh, five or six micro dots. I'm sure you're not going to be able to see them, but I'll try to show you. Uh, the good news about the micro dots, it means the keen's working. It's, it's, it's catching even the small gold. So, good news, good news. Eh, I wish it was better, but who knows? I, I might be, I might be one foot to the right of a giant nug. So, let me show you. Ooh.
So again, I don't know if you can see those or not, but I'm going to take a small little break here, then get back to it. Probably have to sit down and have me a Blue Mountain Hydration, Gold Rush 22. Right there. Now I'll tell you, this team does have legs. I just didn't bring them because I knew I didn't really need them. So, and I had to put everything on a pack and I didn't want to mess around with it. That seems to be running pretty good. All right. Let's get to feeding. Bad thing about wearing Jesus sandals, you get that darn little gravel underneath them, underneath your feet. But it does feel good in this water. Be a sucky dick to wear jeans and uh, my boots. Yeah, that's running nice. Again, I use this rock because we're kind of making a bend here. And uh, it's just trying to keep the, the V of the water in the center. Now my feed rate might be different than your guys's. I kind of, I kind of watch, and this is where most of the gold is going to get caught anyway, but I kind of watch where it's, it's kind of trickling right here, but it's, it's pretty much cleaned out down there, so I don't think you can really overfeed this too much, if you, I mean, I'm sure you could, but it, it peels so slow back here on this indicator mat. I got no worries whatsoever. See how it's just peeling back here nice and slow. Water feels good. Howdy. All right, well, I just cleaned up them two buckets and uh, not, not great. I'll show you. But I did find four really big garnets. Let me show you the low power. This is four garnets, but you can see there's a little gold in there. I pulled it back real quick. And a lot of micro dots. 
so actually the first clean out had the bigger flakes so bottom line I can do better in other spots this is actually only my first real run here last week uh, we were testing this Ken came and prospected this earlier which he didn't tell me so uh, last week I got a couple bigger flakes but uh, just to be safe I'm still taking all this home because there's a lot of black sand in there but uh, yeah you can see a lot of work for those few flakes basically those are all from my arbor classifier then the larger rocks and then even the bigger rocks so that's a lot of work for just I would have to say there's maybe even counting the micro dots 10 to 15 flakes in there but we'll know for sure tomorrow or tonight uh, I'm actually gonna I was gonna set up my wheel and everything but I think I'm just going to fiddle fart and just do it by hand. Give me something to do. Uh, still have tomorrow. Right now, I'm, I mean, I got a snack. I got to eat a snack here because I'm, I'm definitely low in energy and I got to finish off my H2O. But uh, still a lot of fun. I still enjoy it. I was hoping for better, just like every prospector does. But you don't know until you try. It looked good. I, who knows? I could be digging where somebody else already dug too. I, you know, this is only my second time here. So, the important thing is make sure I always try to have fun. I did, and I am. Um, those jumping fish, eagles, the kingfishers. Oh. What is that? That got, it was, a, it was a broken stick that must have fell in up river, but it, it would hit one of the back currents and was going up. And I thought it might have been the dorsal fins of the, of the sand. Oh, oh, son of a, oh, there went another one. Son of a bitch. That was a huge one. Keep watching. Oh, man, that was huge. Son of a... Alright, I reclimated my hole. Let's just hope something showed up. In a bit. Okay, sure enough. Right after I finished telling you about the sluice, the fish started jumping again. So, oh, oh, damn it. Come on. It was right there. Okay, now, I'm going to walk away and get classified in my first bucket. Maybe a little up. There we go. Well, I'm back. Uh, it's actually the next day. And I finished cleaning up that gold. Well, those concentrates. And not not real impressed. Uh, now remember I've only I only ran four buckets, but um, I was hoping for more. Uh, my feeling about that place is if I can move a ton of material like I even can, you know, with that sluice he has, you know, where he doesn't have to classify, just throws it right on there. Or if I could high bank, which I can't, um, and move a lot of material, we could probably get some good gold. But uh, let me show you anyway. It was a fun day.
so uh, yeah, you know, there's some nice sized flakes in there, but uh, not very many of them. So probably going to move on to a different creek and explore that, and we'll figure it out when the time comes. Until then, thank you. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can gain a couple more subscribers. But most of all, have a wonderful week. Cold Rush 22.